Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see how to read from a stream using Node.js. So make sure that you have Node.js installed and you can execute Node on your command prompt. If you can get this REPL back, then that means Node is installed. You can use .exit to exit from it. Now open text editor and save one file with name sample.js. Then create one variable name fs and then call for fs module using require. Then use var data and here you don't pass on any specific string or so. Keep it blank within single quotes. Next thing, create one variable name reader stream and then call for fs dot create read string and then call for demo dot txt okay so basically we are going to read this demo one dot txt and for that we are making use of streams so the next thing reader stream dot set encoding here you call for utf8 <coughs> then use reader stream dot on and for this you simply pass on your data variable and call function to read the chunk and here you add data plus equals to chunk and then simply end your function here the next thing reader stream dot on again and here we end it call for function without any argument this time and use console.log to simply output the data okay now the next method is reader stream dot on again and here we also check for errors get function to check error variable and then use console.log and simply use error dot stack okay so these are three methods that are simply going to read demo1.txt and print out the content on our console okay so in first on method we are reading data and in second we are printing it out and in third we are catching error if there is any so make sure everything is correct and open command prompt and type in node sample.js okay here you find one error with on method simply use small case here and then run again okay we have so many errors here have this console dot log got typo with it sorry for that and here you see the data from demo.txt is being read and this is node.js demo is the content within that text file so you can now pause the video and go through the code and sorry for the typos made along the way you can correct them in this final code. 